Hey guys, Wisconsin Best Mr. One, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the bungee jumper rig. I found this um rig in a book, um my Best Master book. So um some of the things you'll need is a two watt offset um worm shank hook, a little um like a jig head mainly used for crappie or something and a um either a finesse worm or a trick worm i prefer a trick worm because they're um a little bit thicker and um i'm this is a four inch trick worm in green pumpkin and then last is a um a needle nose pliers if you can kind of see like right here how there's like a sharp fine edge on it you're gonna need one with that because you're gonna have to cut off um, this hook and the top of that like little ring where you tie the line on. So um, let's get started. Okay, so first, what you're gonna do is take your jig head. This is a uh, one one eighth ounce, and you're gonna basically cut it right where the hook meets the bottom of the the um like the shank or whatever. So you're gonna take that and. Cut it right here with your pliers. Make sure you got one of these with a um, cutter right in it. And you're just going to cut it right there. And then after you're done cutting that, you're going to take this where you tie the line. You're going to cut that right in the same spot. And then it should look a little something like this. You can kind of see the difference how the, um, the where you tie the line is cut off. And the hook shank is cut off, so you basically have just a straight thing right here. And then, um, basically what you're going to do is take your trick worm or finesse worm or whatever you're going to use and take the thicker top half and basically just put it right in there. That's what I'm going to do for you guys. So now it should look a little something like this. It's, um, got no, no, that, none of that, um, hook right there so it won't get caught in the bass's mouth or anything and it's basically just a weight kind of with eyes you know and then you're going to take your worm hook um this it would be tied to my fishing pole but i'm not going to do that you're going to kind of go right in the middle of it and kind of do like like you would normally a texas rig but doing it in the middle of it so you take it and go right through and thread the worm all the way through. And then once the worm kind of gets about there, you're gonna just going to take it, pull it almost through so it comes back out. So you have like a hole. And then just push it through that hole again. But this time without going through the worm, you're going to go straight up the worm. So it'll look something like that. And then basically do a Texas rig with the front of the hook. And then there you have it, your bungee jumper. It's um nice, nice um tip to use and um hope you guys like this one. I'll I will be making these tips and tricks videos at least twice a week because um I'm going up north this weekend. Hopefully I can get some fish on film for you guys. But um here is your finished bait and that's what it should look like. Thanks guys, thanks for watching guys, and I hope you like this video, stay tuned for more.